Mr. Coach, I'm very uh, exciting for this tournament. And uh, it's uh, our teams. Uh, we are fully ready for tomorrow game against uh, Jordan. So I think we want to go through this tournament. You know, as people know that uh, Malaysia is a beautiful country and uh, nice and kind people living there, but also we can introduce Malaysia football is such a strong and a firm and a dynamic and energetic football we can introduce. So uh, we are fully ready for tomorrow game. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Uh, questions for Coach Kim Pangun and, of course, Matt Davis as well. The floor is open. Can we have the mic, please? Thank you. Hi, Coach. I'm Zulu from Astro. So, Coach, after 13 days of training, the team will play for the first game tomorrow. Uh, what can you conclude? Your team readiness for match against Jordan? Yes. Uh, actually, I think three weeks preparation, uh, including uh, Kuala Lumpur, and also uh, Doha training camp. So there was some some uh, obstacle, but uh, we all overcome, and uh, there is little uh, injury players, but still I think we can put a uh, full of our power for tomorrow game. Uh, Tactically, technically, strategically, I think all are ready for tomorrow game. Yeah. Hi, Coach. I'm Nazreen from Bernama. Coach, uh, you had a very uh, good record coming to these Asian Games with the highest winning rate. So how important uh, to kick off the Met uh, with a positive result for your team. Yes. Uh, from last March, you know, FIFA window until last friendly game against uh, uh, Syria, I think we play 11 games, uh, seven wins, three draw, one lost. to the round of 16, which obviously means finishing second or third in the group. Um, as you mentioned, yes, it's been a long time since we've qualified. Uh, we're the first team in, in 40 or so years to qualify on merit for the Asia Cup um, for Malaysia. So we're very proud of that fact um, and we're honoured to be here. Um, I think we're very proud of each other, but at the same time, we don't want to come here be defensive, be negative. We want to come here, play our style of football, um, enjoy and be competitive in this tournament. I think we've proven again and again that we're very capable of competing with teams ranked far high above us. Um, so we're hoping to do that again in this tournament. Thank you. Next, please. Uh, Kim Fai from AFC. Question for Matt. Um, during yesterday's game, Graham Arnold in the Australia's game spoke about how the players were a bit too excited going into that game. Uh, with all the build up and all the training so far going into it, is it something that's happening within the Malaysian camp as well? Is there something being done to temper the world excitement and just get on with the job, be a bit professional about it all? Yeah, I think um, credit to Coach uh, and his staff. They've done a really fantastic job of of sheltering the group from the from too much excitement, too much nervousness, um, and the build-up to the tournament. So I feel like we've been really sheltered from that. Um, we've been really focused. We've been doing our own thing. 
um, going every day to training and, and staying away from all the noise and the hype of the tournament. Um, so I think they've done a fantastic job at that. Um, and I think all that's left to do now is, is to go out and play. We've had a fantastic build-up, fantastic preparation for the game. And, and I hope, as I mentioned, that noise and excitement um, hasn't gotten to the group. And I hope we can just go out and just focus on, on doing our thing and, and playing football. Thank you. Can we have in front here, please? Assalamu alaikum. Habis al Jarrah min al Urdun. Hal al Sual al Mutarib, hal to Khatat lil Fawz ala al Urdun? Yes, uh, I think we make it a uh, tele made game planning for the Jordan. So we already have uh, several uh, rehearsals, and it was very good. I think our players are very confident in our target. Yeah, tomorrow we're going to get a three point. Assalamu yeah. alaikum. أنا فوزي حسونا من الأردن سؤالي لمدرب ماليزيا كوتش لم يسبق لماليزيا أن حققت الفوز على الأردن في خمس مواجهات تاريخية جمعت المنتخبين العودة إلى التاريخ بالتأكيد هي تعطي الأفضلية لمنتخب الأردن مجموعة ماليزيا، كوريا الجنوبية والأردن والبحرين بحسب اطلاعك على منتخبات المجموعة من حيث التأهل أنت بنظرك هل هي كوريا، الأردن، البحرين، ماليزيا المرشحة لحسم المقعدين الأول والثاني في المجموعة أم أن ماليزيا ممكن تكون مفاجئة تحقق مفاجأة في هذه المجموعة شكرا yeah, yes uh, as a record uh, even now current ranking uh, I think Malaysia is 130 you know Jordan is uh, 87 something a big difference I don't know what you have done uh, last 10 years I think you describe yourself you are a very strong uh, football country no, no, but uh, this tournament, I, I think what I explained to you that we already uh, play with the uh, same level of uh, Jordan. In a six game uh, last few months, then our result was two win, a three draw, one loss. So according to this result, uh, we describe uh, about uh, our target. So tomorrow, we wish tomorrow is the new uh, history day. We can beat uh, Jordan. And uh, yes, of course, uh, the Korea is the most strong team uh, in, the, in the group stage. And uh, we, we already know that uh, Jordan and uh, Bahrain, they have a home advantage, like uh, we play in the uh, uh, Middle East. But we will strongly challenge, we firmly challenge to get into uh, round 16 with uh, Korea and Malaysia. Sal Gbeer, Al Qana Riyadhiya, Al Urduniya. Tawajud Al Jaliya, Al Urduniya, Bishakil Kabir, Huna, Fi Qatar, Alay Shakil Dalik, Hajis Lada, Al Muntakab, Al Malizi, Qadan, Fil Mudarajat. Yeah, yeah, we, we expect, expect it. Uh, Jordan will use this tournament as a home, home advantage. But uh, as I know, I think uh, many Malaysian fans all, also will be there. So hopefully, I think tomorrow in Mosopia will be good in Mosopia for the competition. I think so that I, 
we can bring a very good game to the spectator. Yeah. Uh, hello, Matt. Uh, I think uh, all of Malaysia fans right now put high hope and expectation for this team. So maybe what's your, your comment on that? Uh, put a pressure on you and your team. Thank you. Yeah, I think um, it's fair to say we, we feel a little bit of that um, from the fans and from the commentary around the tournament. Um, I think it's a good time to to remind the fans of our ranking at 130 compared to the other teams and uh, to be realistic that we are big underdogs going into this tournament. Um, Jordan, Bahrain and Korea are favourites for the group. Um, but in a sense that's a positive for us because there's no pressure for us. We come here uh, after 40 years and for many of our players it's the first time we've, we've ever played in a tournament like this. All the pressure is for Jordan, all the pressure is for Bahrain, all the pressure is for Korea. We come here to enjoy, to learn, to play our football. Um, and also for the fans to be realistic, we are, we are ranked far below uh, Jordan and Bahrain. Um, but like I mentioned before, uh, we've proven again and again with this squad, with this team um, under Coach Kim, we're capable of challenging teams uh, far above our ranking. So we're quietly confident as a group, but at the same time, uh, the fans have to be realistic. Any other questions? Yes. A question to Matt. Matt, uh, you will face players like Musa Al Tamari, who played for Montpellier, uh, and maybe Ali Olwan, who scored hat trick uh, last match against Malaysia. So, uh, what do you think on this battle uh, for, next, for the tomorrow match? Yeah, I think, like I mentioned to you before, um, they have a lot of individual quality in their group. Um, at the same time, we can't focus too much on stopping one player because if we put everything into stopping that one player, they have four or five or six uh, other quality players. Um, we have a few Jordanians playing in the Malaysian League, so we know their quality. Um, we know their strengths. Um, and like I say, I think it's going to be a real team effort from our group. Um, from the very front to the defence to, to try and stop all the quality they have in their team. Any other questions? No? We have come to the end of the press conference. We thank you members of media and we'll see you at the official training session of Malaysia this evening. Thank you Coach Kim and thank you Matt.